did you first meet? Uh, mm. Yes, we first met. We were introduced actually by a mutual friend who um, we will... We should protect her privacy. Protect and her privacy, yeah. Reveal too much of that. And, um, but it was, it was literally, it was through her. And then we met once and then twice, back to back, two dates in London. Mm. Um, last July, yes, beginning of July, and then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later, that I managed to <laughs> persuade her to come and join me in Botswana, and we and we, we we camped out with each other under the stars. We spent she came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. So then we were really by ourselves, mm -hmm. um, which I th which was crucial to me to make sure that we had a, a chance to to get to know each other. Yeah. But the friend who introduced you, was she trying to set you up? Yes, it was definitely yes. a setup. <laughs> it was a blind date. It was a blind date, and, for sure. And it's so interesting because we talk about it now, and even then, I, you know, because I'm from the States, you don't grow up with the same understanding of, of the royal family. And mm. so while I now understand very clearly there's a, a global interest there, I didn't know much about him. And so the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was, I had one question. I said, "Was well, he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't, it didn't seem like it would make sense. And so we went and um, had a, met for a drink. And then I think very quickly into that, we said, well, what are we doing tomorrow? We should, yeah. we should meet again. What are we doing tomorrow? Let's meet again. And then it was like, right, diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work. Because I was off to Africa for a month. Mm. Um, she was working. And we just said, right, where's, where's the gap? And the gap happened to be in the perfect place. Um, so.